What's up everyone, Prabir here with the last question your world of the year. Sure, the solar eclipse and some really intense hurricanes dominated the science news landscape, but actually there were a lot of really cool stories that broke all year round. So with that said, let's do a recap of this year's top five science deep cuts. All right, number five, animal discoveries. 2017 was a huge year for animal discoveries and information about our biodiversity. We had thousands of animals discovered this year, including a polka dot stingray, we found a new river dolphin, and scientists even found 50 species of spiders from one site visit to Australia. Now keep in mind that 86% of the animals that live on land and 91% of the animals that live under the water are still left to be discovered. Pretty wild stuff. Number four, let's talk about technology. All right, if we're going to talk about 27 technology, we have to mention two big words, Elon Musk. Musk and his crews at SpaceX and Tesla both had a really good year. SpaceX continued to test and launch their reusable rockets, pretty cool, and Tesla announced a brand new car for their fleet. However, perhaps one of the coolest news stories is the release of the brand new electric big rig truck. Yes! Okay, so this thing charges in 30 minutes and then can travel for 500 miles once fully charged. Keep on trucking, Mr. Musk. You're making some great things happen. All right, number three, we learned a lot more about human evolution, which means we learned a lot more about ourselves. We tend to attribute our upright evolution all the way back to creatures like Lucy, the Australopithecan dating back 3.2 million years ago. Well, this year, scientists discovered a set of fossilized footprints that were left by an upright walking creature in Greece about 5.7 million years ago. This is pulling into question the linear form of evolution that we're used to, and this is a cool example of how scientists piece together our own story one step at a time. Number two, there were a lot of interesting space discoveries this year. Obviously, we had a big old solar eclipse sweep across the nation and had everyone going, ooh, ah. But there were lots of other cool news stories too. For example, US astronaut Peggy Whitson broke the record for the US astronaut with the most time spent in space, clocking in at a whopping 665 days. Go Peggy. NASA also announced a brand new class of astronauts, pretty cool. And scientists were able to identify a star system 2,500 light years away that has eight planets orbiting its star just like us. The furthest planet in that star system is about the same distance as the Earth is to the sun, meaning that's a really cramped and dense star system. Okay, but one of the coolest news stories in space is the discovery of asteroid Oumuamua. This is the first thing that we've ever discovered to come to us from outside of our solar system. Oumuamua is traveling at 16 miles per second, too fast to be caught by the sun, and is racing its way out of our solar system. But it's got a lot of astronomers excited to see what else they can spot now that they've tracked the first thing to visit us from outside of our own solar system. And number one, it was a huge year for human impact. Okay, we've got some good news and we've got some bad news. Let's start with the bad news first. Unfortunately, the rusty patched bumblebee has been added to the endangered species list as of this year. Habitat loss and pesticide use weren't really helping in the first place, but ultimately it was determined that the warming climate has made it harder and harder for these animals to survive. Now this is a big deal for us humans because these bees are pollinators meaning they pollinate our crops, and that's how we get our food. This is a very important animal to be designated as an endangered species. If you want to help out, get a solitary bee colony and put it in your backyard. Give the bees a place to chill out. Trust me, we need these animals. Now, on the other hand, we have some good news too. There's a lot of infrastructure that started to go sustainable and more resilient in Virginia. For example, Facebook is opening a brand new data center right outside of Richmond, Virginia, and it's gonna be run 100% on renewable energy. Similarly, Valley Elementary School in Bath County, Virginia is going to be the first school to run entirely on solar power. In fact, it's gonna generate so much energy that it'll be able to help power some of the other schools in the district as well. Flat roofs on these big schools make for an excellent place to collect solar energy, and this is also a great place for students to learn about solar technology and jobs that come with the solar technology industry. So clearly, going solar is a pretty bright idea. Thank you so much for following us all year round. We've loved covering all these stories for you guys. 
We'll be doing the same in 2018. From all of us to all of you, have a safe, excellent, and happy new year. We'll see you guys in the future.